Hey guys, let's discuss current affairs. Today's first question is on uh, whom of the following ministers led the Indian delegation to the World Economic Forum in Davos um, uh, in the last week of May? Well, uh, the answer is uh, Piyush Goyal. Piyush Goyal happens to be the minister of, three, you know, he holds three ministries. You could write this, commerce and uh, industries, commerce and industry. Then textiles, and uh, we have uh, him holding the Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. Okay, so guys, three there, three important ministries: Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Textiles, and Commerce and Industry. Uh, commerce and industry. Before I discuss the WEF, let me take you to the choices. Subramaniam Jay Shankar is the External Affairs Minister of India, EAM. External Affairs Minister means Foreign Affairs Minister. Nirmala Sitaraman holds two important portfolios, um, two important ministries. One is the Finance Ministry and the second one is uh, you know, corporate affairs, corporate affairs, corporate affairs. Jyotir Aditya Sindhya, civil aviation. Doesn't he hold this? Yes, I guess. Ashwini Vaishnav, um, you could write one major ministry, plenty of them. You could write railways. He holds three ministries actually. Okay. Ashwini Vaishnav holds railways. You could also write uh, Meti then. Ministry of Information, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. And uh, then the Ministry of Communications. Ministry of Communications. So guys, three ministries there uh, for Ashwini Vaishnav as well. Okay. Ah, guys, WEF. World Economic Forum, you could write this. World Economic Forum. Underline that. Uh, head office, colony, Switzerland. Okay, let me write in full. Colony, Switzerland. Then, founder chairperson, founder chairperson, Klaus Schwab. Klaus Schwab. Then, You could write this annual meetings take place in annual meetings take place in Davos, Switzerland. Davos, Switzerland. Okay. Anna Kabale Duba has been announced the winner of the Aster Guardians Global Nursing Award. Uh, but she's from uh, Kenya. She's from Kenya. This is Kenya. You can see this is Kenya. Okay. Um, Morocco up here on the western coast of um, Africa, up northwest coast of Africa. Um, Egypt. This is Egypt here. You could see straight line boundaries. Nigeria is here. Pretty large country. And in the end is island country of Madagascar. So shall we look at, you know, these countries. Uh, Kenya's capital is Nairobi. Its pre president is Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta. And um, <clears throat> the currency is shilling. Currency is shilling. 
करेंसी इज शिलिंग मोरको मोरको यू कैन सी हियर अप देयर रैबिट द किंग इट्स अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मोनार्की सो द गॉड अ किंग देयर मोहम्मद द सिक्स So when you write the name, it's Muhammad VI, Roman numeral VI. But when you read the name, Muhammad the Sixth should come in. So before you read the numeral, the, the, the numeral, the should be the article, the should be there. Okay, like we have Queen Elizabeth the Second. The currency of Morocco is dirham. Dirham. From there to Egypt. Oh, sorry, guys. Egypt. Yeah, Egypt's capital is Cairo or Cairo. Cairo. President is the dictator, military dictator Abdel. Fate L C C Abdel Fate L C C Okay Egypt um, in Egypt you would require the Egyptian pound Egyptian pound As you know in you know all of us read in childhood that Egypt is nicknamed the gift of the Nile gift of the nile yes without nile it would be an arid place like pretty much like chad and niger you see this come mali niger you know these places are pretty dry this entire area is very dry but for the fact that here you have the nile okay then you have uh, madagascar the island of madagascar The island of Madagascar is um, run from the capital Antananarivo. Antananarivo, and uh, the president here is Andri Rajolina. Andri Rajolina. Andre Rajolina, it's a currency. Ariari, Ariari. You would also write world's largest, world's largest producer of vanilla. World's largest producer of vanilla, and fourth largest island. Fourth largest island. or the largest island what are the largest greenland you have greenland you have the island of guinea new guinea in you know in the eastern part of the world uh, you have eastern um, just above australia and uh, to the east of majority of islands of indonesia you find the island of new guinea uh, with the new guinea the eastern part is a country called png papua new guinea while the western portion of the island belongs to indonesia so the largest island is greenland belonging to denmark um, then the island of new guinea and third is borneo borneo is an island in um, you know the Indo indonesian archipelago But remember that the southern part of the island is run by Indonesia. It's a part of Indonesia. The northern part is Malaysia. Within the northern part, you have a small kingdom owned, you know, which is a separate country called the Kingdom of Brunei. Okay. But if you look at Madagascar down there, it's you know, it's completely, it's just one country actually. It's come completely one country. <clears throat> so. From there, of course, 
Now my first which state will launch India's first um, state-owned OTT platform named C Space that will offer a variety of movies, documentaries, and short films. I don't know why would a state government do you know launch this, but then you know to each their own. OTT is over the top. What is this? Over the top. Why don't you write this simple thing? Over the top. Dash media service, media service offered directly to consumers. Media service offered directly to consumers via the internet. Via the internet. Next point. It bypasses, it bypasses cable, comma, broadcast and satellite TV platforms, bypasses cable, comma, broadcast and satellite TV platforms. Next, can be accessed, <coughs> can be accessed. accessed can be accessed on smart TVs smart televisions smart TVs mobile devices mobile devices mobile devices within brackets via apps applications via apps comma digital media digital media platforms digital media platforms like gaming consoles gaming consoles gaming consoles like xbox or you know just made by microsoft then you have playstation made by sony W I I V pronounced uh, V. Uh, it's made by uh, Nintendo. So all these can be accessed. No, the internet can be accessed or OTTs can be accessed here. And of course, you could write PCs and PCs, personal computers. Okay. So it's called over the top. It does not use any of the services that we in the past have used. Uh, Dish TV, satellite TV, you know what you call it, cable TV and all, nothing. Okay. Salil Parikh has recently been reappointed MD and CEO of Infosys. His pay has been increased to by about 88% something. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I think you are 88%. So Salil Parik has recently been appointed CEO and MD reappointed uh, as the CEO of Infosys, Infosys Technologies. See, those of you who don't know, I'll just give you this dope. Infosys was started in 1981 by N.R. Murthy. I'm giving some extra information. N.R. Narayanamurthy. Okay. Then Nandan Neelakani. And N.S. Raghavan and you have K. Gopal Krishnan, K. Gopal Krishnan, T. Dinesh, Shibula, S. D. Shibulal. And the last name that most people have forgotten, in fact, most people don't know, uh, is that of Ashok Arora. Ashok Arora. Hmm. So these seven guys started in Infosys 1981, but in 1989, Ashok Arora left the company. So HCL is Hindustan Computers Limited. Um, the CEO is C. Vijay Kumar. Vijaya Kumar, one word. C. Vijay Kumar. Okay. In the Sun Computer Center, Tech Mahindra.
चंद्र प्रकाश गुरनानी चंद्र प्रकाश गुरनानी टीसीएस राजेश गोपीनाथन विप्रो थियरी डेलापोर्ट थियरी डेलापोर्ट With which nation has the Indian Navy recently participated in the fourth edition of the coordinated patrol patrols? You know, going around surveilling, surveilling basically. Okay, exercise in the northern bay of Bengal, Bangladesh. Is it? See, when you say northern bay of Bengal, it's Bangladesh. What about the choices? Uh, the choices like what naval exercises? India's na navy had exercised. Uh, I mean. Engaged in military exercise uh, with Simba, Singapore Navy, and it is called Simbex. Singapore, India, Singapore, India, maritime bilateral exercise. Singapore, India, maritime M A R I T I M E maritime bilateral exercise. Maldives, Ecuadorian. Qatar, Qatar is a kingdom in the in the in the Gulf, basically Persian Gulf. Zair Al Bahar, Zair Al Bahar. Indonesia with uh, with Indonesia two ex exercises. One is corporate. Yes, with Indonesia you are also uh, also with Indonesia also we have corporate coordinated patrol. With Thailand also we have corporate. With Indonesia, there is something more called Samudra Shakti. Samudra Shakti. So these are the all. These are all Indian naval exercises. Okay. Now, what's a bay? This is a question I have often been asked. Uh, okay. Let's take South Asia. Hmm. See. Hmm. This is the Bay of Bengal, isn't it? This is the Bay of Bengal. This is the island country of Sri Lanka. And I'm not really concerned about this. this. Is Lakshadweep, and down here would be Maldives. You know, a peninsula is a land body surrounded by water on three sides. One. Two, three, isn't it? So, peninsula is a water body. Sorry, land body surrounded by water on three sides. A bay is a water body surrounded by land on three sides. Okay, that's it. Simple. A bay, B A Y, is a water body surrounded by land on three sides. That would be, uh, you know, India to the west. Or Bay of Bengal, north you have Bangladesh and some parts of India, of course, Bengal. Uh, then you have Myanmar on the east. Hmm? That's Bay of Bengal. It's always easy to learn. And by the way, who is the Indian naval chief? The Indian naval chief is R. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna. R. Hari Krishna. Yeah. Yeah. So. Who outclass uh, China's Chen Yufei to clinch her maiden title at the 2022 Thailand Badminton Open? That's a Taiwanese player. She is currently world number one. Tai Zhu Ying. Of course, the rankings keep changing. Okay. Um, this is women's. This is um, you know uh, women's um, title, sing maiden women's title, ma women's singles title. What about male? You could write this, and then male or men's singles, men's singles. What's the name? 
men's singles okay this is malaysian player called lee zia zia no lee zia zia lee zia zia yeah. malaysia he beat um, a, a chinese player uh, what is his name li shifeng difficult to remember but um, trying to pull out something from the brain yeah. <laughs> li shi li shifeng yeah chalo which among the following no no it should be which of the following which of the following became the first country to make quarantine compulsory for monkey pox patients uh belgium so what is monkey pox monkey pox is an you could write this infectious disease it's an infectious disease okay the symptoms last for within anywhere within you know 2 to 4 weeks symptoms last for 2 to 4 weeks it's not exactly a fatal disease unless something seriously wrong okay um you could write symptoms include fever headache okay uh what is that uh, yeah swollen lymph nodes lymph nodes swollen lymph nodes plenty of them actually nausea vomit and all that uh last one first case of monkey pox first case of monkey pox was found at a was found at a monkey lab monkey lab in copenhagen copenhagen denmark you know copenhagen is the capital of denmark Hmm? So the first case of monkey pox in a monkey was found in 1958. Um, first found in uh, a lab at monkey lab at Copenhagen in in Copenhagen in Denmark in 1958. In 1958, okay. Uh, the first case of first known case of transmission to humans was in 1970. and that was in the country of the drc democratic republic of congo so if you want to write first human transmission first human transmission human transmission dash democratic republic of congo democratic republic of congo democratic republic of congo in 1970 70 yeah next international press day sorry international day for biological diversity is observed on 22nd may every year the theme for this year is building a shared future for all okay since um, international days are mentioned i'll bring in a few things here just maybe the first uh, 13 14 uh, days of may you could write this may 3rd uh may 3rd world press freedom day press freedom day then may 7th world athletics day world athletics day next may 8th red world red cross day or international red cross day international red cross day next may 11th may 11th very very important in india national technology day national technology day 
Okay, yeah. May 11th, National Technology. See, on May 11th, 1998, India tested nuclear bombs. This was India's first, second testing, but majorly in today's global environment, yeah, this was the first ever time we tested nuclear bombs on such a scale. We tested three bombs on May 11th, 1998. Two days later, we tested another two nuclear bombs. Yeah. Which institution launched uh, an, the Indian CEO's alliance to supercharge India's climate um, action and decarbonization efforts? World Economic Forum, since I already mentioned uh, the WEF a while ago, I'll not take you there. Uh, IMF, WTO, IMO, I can discuss. International Monetary Fund, you could write this. International Monetary Fund, International Monetary Fund, Head Office, Washington, D.C., Mm, it's CEO or MD is Kristalina Georgieva. Kristalina Georgieva and she's from Bulgaria. Next. World Trade Organization. Or we could do one thing. Instead of World Trade Organization, we could write World Tourism Organization. World Tourism Organization. Okay. Head Office, Madrid. Tourism Organization, Madrid. And the President is Zurab. Polokosh Vili Polokosh Vili Okay I think I got the spelling wrong It's Polo Likash Vili yeah. Polo Likash Vili Let me spell it here again Polo Likash Vili Currency, no, not required because we are not discussing countries. I was just looking at, he belongs to Georgia, Georgia's currency is uh, Lari, but not required. Zira Polo Likashvili belongs to Georgia, okay. Then we have, um, sorry guys, uh, we have uh, IMO, International Maritime Organization, International Maritime Organization Maritime Organization Right Head Office London London Next London um, Secretary General Kita Klim South Korea. Kitak Lim, South Korea. So the main purpose of the International Maritime Organization is to regulate global shipping, optimum routes, you know, solving disputes between member states in terms of shipping and all. Okay. The 75th World Health Assembly was recently held at Geneva, Switzerland. Since the World Health Assembly is mentioned, let's write World Health on Day. World Health Day, 7th April. World Health Day, 7th April. Now, why 7th April? Because on this day in 1948, the World Health Organization was established. So, to repeat, the World Health Organization was established on 7th April 1948. Eight. Okay. What were the choices? What organizations will you can you put in here? Okay. Um, Guru Gram, International Solar Alliance, 
इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस यू कुड राइट वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्लेंटी ऑफ देम वर्ल्ड ट्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन न्यूयॉर्क न्यूयॉर्क इज होम टू द यूनाइटेड नेशंस यूनाइटेड नेशंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पेरिस होम टू यूनेस्को यूनेस्को Frankfurt Germany home to the ECB European Central Bank European Central Bank which is the first metro city in India to prepare a detailed report of its biodiversity Calcutta see in this biodiversity report uh, you know they found that um, Calcutta has the least forest cover the lowest forest cover among all metro cities in India okay and um, it also talked about uh, how calcutta is home to about 293 no 238 animal species animals include birds so you could say fauna hmm? fauna coming to this is animal what about biodiversity in terms of plant species 399 species of plants and flowers of plants and flowers were found in calcutta hmm okay yeah. so least forest cover about 238 um, you know animal or flo you know fauna what do you say um species have been found and while um there are about three about 400 you could say 400 species of plants and flowers are also found calcutta is also home to the botanical survey of india botanical survey of india okay chalo which is the first indian state to launch the international olympic committee's uh, olympic values education program odisha see um, i want you to write this international olympic uh, summer olympic games summer olympic games 2024 paris 2028 um what is this los angeles us okay winter olympic games 2022 beijing 2026 2026 milano cortino Italy Okay The RBI has recently constituted a committee to review customer service standards in banks and NBFCs The six member committee will be headed by former deputy governor you know BP Kanungo BP Kanungo Why don't you write this? NBFCs, non-banking finance companies. Okay, underline that first point. Um, offer banking services. Offer banking services or NB. See, I wrote NBFCs. You could write NBFC in the. If you write single in singular NBFC, then you should make it offers. Offers. um banking services offers banking services without without banking license offer banking services without banking license next cannot accept demand deposits 
cannot accept demand deposits in brackets like savings account savings account next deposits with nbfc deposits with nbfc nbfc deposits with nbfc are not insured are not insured i n s u r e d insured with dic gc dic gc you know dic gc no deposit insurance deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation and credit guarantee corporation okay yeah cheek let's write one more point a systemically a systemically important nbfc is one which has which has an asset base of which has an asset base of at least uh, asset base of 500 crore or more which has an asset assset asset base of 500 crore rupees or more or more hmm which has become the first state to roll out commercial drones in healthcare uttarakhand to which a hilly area accessing the you know villages in this, among those hilly areas is very tough so the government is employing drones to move around medicines and other essential medical supplies so you know uttarakhand has two capitals one is um, dehradun the third the second one is gersen now dehradun is a is a winter capital gersen you are the summer capital summer capital chalo which social networking platform users uh, can now access digital locker services by via my gov help desk whatsapp what is it whatsapp whatsapp and instagram are both both owned by meta owned by meta hmm snapchat its head office i'll just give you two three things santa monica california Santa Monica, California, is where the head office of Snapchat is, and its CEO is Ivan Spiegel. Ivan Spiegel. WeChat. You could write this owned by Tencent. In brackets, China. Ten Cent CEO is what is this? Pony Ma. Pony Ma. Twitter. Head office San Francisco. San Francisco. want you to know that uh, as of now currently the ceo is parag agarwal there is widespread speculation as to what would musk do if he eventually buys twitter well will he have parag still run the company or he would be kicked out don't know yeah who of the following indians has been named the 
has been named among Times most uh, 100 most influential people of 2022. All three of them. Gautam Adani is the chairperson of Adani Group. His group companies include Adani Gas, Adani Transmission, Adani, what is it, uh, Power, Adani Ports and Special Economic Zones, Adani Wilmer, yeah, Edible Oil Company. Plenty of them actually. Then Karuna Nandi is a lawyer, Supreme Court lawyer and activist. Supreme Court lawyer and activist. Kuram Parvej is a human rights, you know, what we say, uh, activist in JNK. According to Travel and Tourism Development Index 2021, India has been ranked dash in the WEF's Travel and Tourism Development Index 54. India's global rank is 54. And uh, what are the top three? You could write this WEF Travel and Tourism Development Index. Okay. Um, rank one, Japan. Rank two, United States. Rank three, Spain. This is rank three, Spain. Rank 54, India. Rank 54, India. And rank 117, 117. In brackets, last chart. S sorry, C H A D, chart. Yeah. According to a report by the UNICEF, UNICEF is a United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. To repeat, in United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, okay, um, its head office is in New York City, NYC, and it's um, headed by Catherine Russell. Catherine Russell, American. Catherine Russell. Okay, according to a report by the UNICEF, which country has the world's highest number of children with acute, severe acute malnutrition? India. India has a substantially large number of uh, malnourished children. In fact, if uh, I'm not wrong, the report talks of 57 lakh, you know, children who are wasting away. You know, they're called, it's, the term is wasted, you know. They don't get enough to eat because of which their uh, mental development is not strong. Their physical development is not strong. And um, consequently, you know, it's people get into a cycle. Basically. Yeah. So India has 57 children, 57 lakh children who do not have access to basic um, food who are severely malnourished. The second is a distant Indonesia, very distant. It's about 8 lakh children who are severely malnourished in Indonesia. Okay. Pritzker Prize is related to architecture. It's called the Oscar of architecture. Oscar of architecture. So who is this gentleman here? You could write his name. Yeah. 2022. 2022. Pritzker Prize winner. Pritzker Prize winner. So Oscar of architecture. Right. His name is Dibido. Dibido um, Francis Care. Dibido Francis Care. Yeah. Of Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. You could write here after his name dash first African, first African, and first architect, and first architect, first black architect, first black architect. I repeat, first African and first black architect to win the Pritzker Prize, to win the Pritzker Prize. 
नेक्स्ट वन इंडियन वन इंडियन हैज वन द प्रिट्सगर प्राइस वन इंडियन हैज वन द प्रिट्सगर प्राइस हिज नेम इज बी वी दोषी बी वी दोषी भगवान दास विठल दास दोषी पंडित से बी वी दोषी ओ नो दास हम सो सॉरी मैन वॉट वॉट वॉज आई थिंकिंग मैन दोषी Which of the following is a process by which banks obtain information about the identity and address of the customers? Know your customer. KYC. What is it? KYC. I think it's easy to understand. So. NEFT is one of the most prominent electronic funds transfer systems of India. What does NEFT stand for? El National Electronic Funds Transfer. Why don't you write a little about this? Please write NEFT. Subheading NEFT. Underline that first point. Launched. 2005 launch 2005 next a nationwide a nationwide payment system nationwide payment system that allows that allows a l l o w s allows transfer of funds transfer of funds from one account to another from one account to another next next point individuals comma corporates corporates individuals corporates corporate means companies legally registered and and firms 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 means small businesses and all that need not necessarily be sold to the ship and firms um can can transfer can transfer money from one bank branch money from one bank branch to any other branch to any other branch holding only any other bank account any other bank account any other bank account held by held by hld held by anyone held by anyone Hmm. Next, it is sorry. This facility, this facility, is available twenty-four by seven on all days. See when I say all days, I'm talking of even public holidays. Okay, yeah. all days. Um, twenty-four by seven on all days. Uh, what do we say? Uh, in uh, both online and offline, both online and offline. In case offline is not available, you could send it online. On the days the bank is on a bank is on a holiday. Mm -hmm. Next. No charges are levied. No charges are levied on fund transfer, on NEFT transfers. Next, money is transferred. Money is transferred in in. Off an hour batches, off an hour branch, forty eight, off an hour, off an hour batches. With the first batch, with the first batch, starting at 
डबल जीरो थर्टी आवर्स डबल जीरो थर्टी आवर्स एंड द लास्ट एंड द लास्ट ब्रांच लास्ट बैच एंड द लास्ट बैच एंडिंग एट एंड द लास्ट बैच एट वाई एंडिंग एट एंड द लास्ट बैच एट डबल जीरो डबल जीरो आवर्स लास्ट पॉइंट मिनिमम ट्रांसफर अमाउंट और ट्रांसफरबल अमाउंट मिनिमम अमाउंट पर ट्रांसफर इज वन रुपी वन रुपी विथ नो अपर लिमिट विथ नो अपर लिमिट so the money is not sent immediately it's sent in half an hour batches basically okay which of the following countries does not have euro as their common um, national currency see the euro the euro is a common currency of 19 countries 19 countries 19 nations which are members of the european union So, 19 out of the 27 members of the European Union have euro as a common currency. 19 out of 27. These four have euro. Switzerland has franc. Is it franc? See, Poland is a European Union member, but its currency is zloty. This is Poland. You look at Sweden. Yeah, Sweden's. Um, Sweden and Denmark, especially Sweden. Okay, you could write Corona. What is it? Corona. Sweden and Denmark, Corona. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Oh, that's about it, man. Have a lot of fun. Stay curious. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much.